Um, the third thing is the the housing programme. We've had some clarification since we first asked on the 22nd of September, I think it was, um, for, for more details of that. Um, we have had a letter back from the, the housing and land team that outlines that there's there's over five hundred million pounds of unallocated housing, affordable housing settlement money, um, and that to me seems like something you could do something with. We are facing again a, a winter of potentially increased homelessness, um, problems with with renters. Um, we know that that council housing programmes are, are overstretched. We also know there's problems in the housing market, and I've discussed before with with your deputy mayor um, the possibility of acquiring maybe landlord properties or unsold new build private homes um, as to use as new homes for councils to put people in who are at risk of homelessness build some resilience into into London for the winter with that money that you could potentially get back later or, or just use to create permanent new affordable homes surely that's a good idea and, and are you thinking about that well, of course the, the money is, um, Sorry, I was asking is, the mayor that really? Sorry, David. Well, your question is based on a premise that's just not true. Uh, that's why I thought it's important for the chief of staff, to, uh, for the sake of your question, to correct the, the premise that you falsely made. Yeah, we asked for clarification at the last meeting. And we well, that's what he's about to provide you, if given the chance to do so. If it, we'll, we'll, yeah, the, um, yeah, we've received a list of questions as follow-up from the previous meeting. Obviously, we'll, we'll reply to them. Um, the, the two points I would, and yeah, we'll, we'll set it out in more detail than I can now, but the two points I would make is, of course, firstly, the affordable housing grant, um, the government gives us a particular purpose, and that purpose is to you know, create more affordable housing. Um, it's not that, you know, that is, I've clearly got to have a focus on you know, new build and growing the housing stock, because the fundamental problem in London is, is the lack of supply. And... Um, the other point to make is that it actually you know, we do what you say because um, the Mayor's Land Fund is created from cash flow, and David Galley may want to say more about this if you have questions, but is created from cash flow by the fact that the affordable housing money, um, part is paid out when schemes start and part is paid out when schemes finish, and so that creates the opportunity to use some of that money for cash flow, for cash flow purposes. And, and Sean, if I could just perhaps um, add to the, the answers you've given. I mean, within the limited flexibilities we have on the Affordable Home Programme, obviously our housing colleagues look really closely about how they can max out those flexibilities to meet, in particular, the challenges arising from London's recovery. And in particular, that's a, a major priority for, um, you know, Ricardo Hyatt in, in running our housing function, to try and optimise those flexibilities. But there's, as David says, they are very, very limited. I mean, we, we have got clarification from um, the, the team in Housing and Land. In our, I don't know if you've got the agenda papers in, in front of you, um, but certainly, I'm trying to work out which page of the agenda it is. Um, I think it's page 13 of 76 in the overall electronic version of the document, and it says page 9 on the bottom of the page that we're looking at. It's a copy of a letter from the, the Housing and Land team. Um, it does say there's, there's 500 million pounds of unallocated, like not even for future phases of projects or anything like that, that potentially could be could be brought in, in in the two ways I suggested. One was buying up existing homes from landlords um, who may be struggling. Um, that, you say, may not be compatible with the overall goals of the programme. But the other option is to, to, to help house builders who have built homes and can't sell them. That's surely compatible with the aims of the programme as a whole. Um, if you can create new council homes out of those properties that might just sit there otherwise, and, and like I say, this winter is the time to be doing it, not, not sometime in the future. And both, both those suggestions are not new to us because they were in our task force report prepared during the pandemic that you're well aware of, uh, the GLA working with. I thought, I thought you were looking at this. Well, we are, but we can't use money that's linked for something else to use for those schemes. What we've done is we've made a submission to government in relation to the task force recommendations. I think I think David's about to find the reference you're looking for in relation to the, the housing land uh, letter you referred to. I'm not sure you're right, though, that they've said to you that we can reallocate this money, uh, as you suggest. 
we do we have clarification on, on whether because I know that there's money that's for future phases. You know, I know that a lot's gone out in promises to to housing associations and councils that that you know is owed to them in the future. So you can't just give that to the to someone else. But this seems to be absolutely spare money that's intended to be you know used to make the program work better in a, in a slightly flexible way. And this seems to me <coughs> something that should be got, got on with. I mean, just to reiterate, we obviously will look at it as closely as we can. There are constraints upon the whole programme that limits that. Um, but as I say, my housing colleagues are very, very keen to ensure that resource is used to best effect. And I'm sure they will, will take a message back from you, Sean, and again reinvigorate the, uh, the attempt to try and make best use of that money. I mean, I've, I've seen, um, for example, um, in the first phase of the Aylesbury estate, Southwark Council have done what I think is a very good thing. They they borrowed according to their you know their new flexibility in borrowing, and they've made phase one of that um, scheme entirely social housing now, using that extra money. That's the kind of thing, and it wasn't going to be. It was going to be private housing, and that's the sort of thing I'm I'm thinking we might do. Okay, if you haven't got the documentation, then we can't have an answer to that, Assembly Member Barry. C can I suggest that we ask... Did they the not have the agenda of the meeting, Chair? Sorry? So I've, I've now, um, while you've been talking, managed to um, get, get up the um, letter. Um, and obviously, um, as, you, as the committee will be aware, what um, um, Ricardo Howitt says in the letter is that the remaining settlement, we've got 535 million, will be used to fund additional homes towards the target, um, plus some over-programming um, so that we ensure that any slippage or non-delivery um, can be mitigated, recognising the wider risks that there are, you know, I guess, tidying with some of the points Senator Member Duval was making earlier. So, you know, that's, that's, I read that and I asked, could you, do, could you be doing more in this year in preparation for winter. I thought that was legitimate. Do you have a response? Um, I mean, beyond what, what the, uh, the, the Mayor says about what the task force has identified and what, what, we're, what we're looking at, um, uh, yeah, I, don't have, I don't have any more to say now. I'm happy to, to write in more, de more detail. I might follow up with the Deputy Mayor um, because, we, like I say, we have already okay. discussed this potential issue. Okay, I, th I think we can't get any further with that. Do you have anything else, Assembly Member Barry? Okay, no. Okay. Can I ask, gentlemen, that we get a, a proper answer to that question and that it's um, sent to me, and I'll make sure all, all our members get it. Absolutely. Thank you. In the, right. In the usual uh, way. Sorry. Beg your pardon. So yes, in the usual way. Lovely. Thank you very much. Um,